Hi, Simon here for Music Radar, and today I am joined by Chris from Novation. We are checking out your brand new Peak 8 Voice Poly Synth. I know. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> Tell it's us, right, okay, just, just dive on in. Yeah, Tell okay. us all about it. No, you're quite right, Simon. It's amazing. I'm very, very happy to be here with this here at Superbooth. Um, you're quite right. Our 8 Voice Poly Synth, three oscillators, um, fully analog uh, filter and signal path here, but the oscillators are doing some very clever stuff. I mean, it's a hybrid system, mm -hmm. so we have uh, a numerically controlled uh, sort of analog shapes, if you like, um, but we also have things like wavetables here as well. But one of the key things about what we're doing here in the oscillator is that we're, rather than using DSP and DAC sort of conversion, we're actually using FPGA technology here and with FPGA technology, instead of using sort of standard sample rates of, you know, for example, 44.1 kilohertz, that sort of thing, 48 kilohertz, this is actually running at two, uh, 24 megahertz. So, wow. So this is oversampling at like, oh, like over 500 times, you know. So that means the resolution of these oscillators is, is you know, is to all intents and purposes is as good as analog, you yeah, know. Yeah. It, sounds, it sounds like it's analog. You know, even though they are genuinely di being generated in the digital domain, they're, they're, as, you know, they're as good as you're going to get. Right. Really. So, so, yeah. Go, let's have a quick listen. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, so I've got a, let's see if we get a... Oh, I've been playing with filters, haven't I? So here we go. Let's bring in the... Uh, now, this is the analog filter as well. So this is true analog over this side here. So we have... You know, nice analog sound, and of course, the filter is one of the most important parts of any synthesizer. Of course, let's get some other patches. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our wonderful um, effects section over here. So, well. let's get some. Uh, this is currently in sync, so if I change the time, if you look at the screen here, we've got. Um, we can see we've got different uh, divisions, if you like, of the clock that's going in. But I can take that off and it's free running. We've got feedback, I like to do this. Oops, sorry, that's perhaps a bit too much, but anyway. And then the reverb as well. Now this reverb, I think, is absolutely beautiful. So let's get some of that on there. So lush. And You've got three easy. types there. To what, what the yeah, so like. these are kind of like, if you like, different room sizes. So, But the nice thing is they modulate between them. So if I change the size, you can hear how the, you know, the reverb yeah, is yeah. modulating. Let's go. Put it onto the smaller size, it starts to increase the pitch. So, you know, that's really quite a nice thing. If I stick it onto full, we're going to get minutes of reverb there as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so lovely stuff. So, you know, that's kind of like, if you like, the flow of the synth here. Yeah. Okay, we've got our modulation. Mm -hmm. um, Modulation-wise, we've got two LFOs, and that's per voice. So it's eight voice. So in fact, there are actually 16 LFOs firing off in there. Um, now they are, I'm going to initialize this patch, and I'm going to go to a sine wave here. And I'm going to, let's bring in some LFO2 depth. That's a bit extreme, but that's fine. I'm going to go over here now to LFO2. And I'm going to just run up, and then if so, that's now that's going up to about 200 hertz. We can put a fade in on that, which is quite nice. It's like a little attack phase, which is nice. And then we've got low. Let's switch to high, and this is great because this runs now up to 1.6 kilohertz. I do the, 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 the yeah the sorting my favorite my favorite LFO type. Anyway, sorry I <laughs> I digress, you know, but you exactly. can't you can't help but go a bit crazy. Well, that's the thing about it. I mean, you've got so much. It's like you know you've got so much temptation on here. You know you you know in my job I've obviously I've got to demonstrate the thing, but I just find myself going off into synth world. You know, it's brilliant. Yeah. Nice and so, tactile, like absolutely. that. Absolutely. But that, I mean, that, that's a really big thing about Peak. I think the design of it here, everything is here. Mm -hmm. You know, ignore this bit for a second. You know, you've got everything here to make a really fantastic, great synth. But then we've got extra stuff under the hood. So in the mod matrix here, we have 16 modulation slots. 
So 16 different, you know, sort of uh, modulations that we can create. We have 37 different destinations, including things like LFO rates and that sort of thing, amp, um, amp, um, envelope uh, uh, controls as well. So we can, you know, change perhaps the decay time of the amp envelope with an LFO or something like that, you know. Um, so there's a lot of scope here. Um, and um, yeah, if I move across here, you see we've got two sources. So for each destination, we can affect that with two different modulation sources, including, and this is I think, a wonderful little thing, CV. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we've got this huge beast of a polysynth, which is, we've got, we've got a foot in the digital side, a foot in the analog side, but then we've also got the CV coming in. So, you know, this is going to integrate into all of that, yeah. that kind of gear yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And, I mean, you know, that's just one of the menus. We've got lots of other things. I mentioned about the effects before. We saw those. But if I go to the effects page, we have a routing here. And at the moment, they're all in parallel. But if I want to say, okay, well, actually, I want to, uh, to change the, the configuration, if you like, the layout of the effects. You know, here we've got delay running into chorus, running into reverb, reverb into delay into chorus, reverb, chorus, delay, you know, and so on. Yeah, yeah. And a whole load of other additional functions on the effects as well. So uh, controls over the chorus, low pass, high pass on the chorus, again on the delay, uh, slews as well. So we can, you know, we heard the modulation before with the reverb, we can control that side of things with the delay. Uh, reverb, uh, low pass damp, high pass damp as well, size, depth. You know, it's just, it's a, it's um. Yeah. It's a <laughs> yeah. there's a lot to it. There's I mean, a heck of a lot there's a lot it, under yeah. the bonnet, but it's not too deep under the bonnet. You can't, you get lost. Well, You've got, you can still quite immediate with everything. It, uh, yeah, I mean, I think immediate is a great word for it because you know, from an initialized patch. So let's just go here. This is sawtooth. Let's go here. seconds and you're in. with a microphone in front of my face you can still do it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. so Talks you know but, like <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you see what I mean though everything is there just to quickly yeah. and you know Brilliant. so it is immediate you're absolutely right but if you want to spend you know hours designing your sound man you can do that with you it as well. it well you can so absolutely do you that you can plug and play or go absolutely bonkers crazy oh, for hours yeah. um, so let's have to dwell on it. the yeah. boring things yeah yeah well, of course. well quite exciting I suppose yeah Price ah, okay. and availability. Well, I think the price is really exciting for this because yeah. this is, you know, a whole load of synth um, and eight voice poly, three oscillators, analog filter, beautiful effects, twelve nine nine dollars. Yep. And I think, uh, you know, genuinely, that's um, that's I think for what you're yeah. getting, it's a, it's a lot for your money. A lot, a lot of synth for your money. A lot of synth for the money. We we must um, mention as well. Sorry, the yeah. the end cheeks you've got here. Ah, my cheeky ends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So um, normally it would come with the wooden ones. Joe, if you, if you quickly have a look over here, so yeah, they normally that's come with... That's with the, yeah, that's from the box, if you like. So this is, you know, wooden end cheeks. Make, makes it sound warmer, of course, you know. <laughs> now, we've got the wooden end cheeks. That's part of the uh, part of the peak. But if you're wanting to as well, and you're looking for a stand, we've actually got this really nice stand, a peak Solid. stand. And, and um, they're die-cast metal, right? Uh, I believe. I, th I think is, that's yeah, what I someone said is. to me just yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've, had, I've not had the spec sheet, the spec sheet, <laughs> sheet through for the, for the stand just yet, but but really nice looking stand. It's got two different angles as well. This yeah. is on the kind of more shallow angle. Yeah. You can have a more, uh, a more upright um, yeah. uh, angle as well if you spin it, uh, if you put the end cheeks on the other side. Yeah, of course. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. And, and the, you know, a, the size is actually a really good thing of Peak because, you know, it's, it's not a huge box. It's a huge box in terms of what it can do, but in terms of real estate, you know, that's... It's a desktop synth yeah, that, that yeah. fits in, yeah. And you know, I've already kind of found my little carved, carved out my little, yeah, yeah my little shop. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've literally um, just gone right. Get out of the way. I'm putting is, this in. Yeah. It's good. It's going under the big boys as well. I was, this one's going underneath an ARP 2600. So nice. I've got that kind of little combo going Lovely. on. Yeah. So yeah, that's Brilliant. what's going to happen. Um, yeah. And availability-wise, <laughs> availability we're again uh, mid-May. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty much it's on the water at the minute. It's gonna it's gonna be shipping really soon. Oh, mid-May right. we're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thanks so much for that. Um, and yeah, we'll be back soon with more videos um, from Superboot, okay? Thank you.